People with autism are seven times more likely to encounter police than any other individual. Hey everybody, we're super excited to be here in Snowflake to talk with the police officers in the area about autism awareness and things that they can look out for to really protect not only our community but the autism community as well. Approximately 1 in 59 children are diagnosed with autism. Challenges associated with autism, about one third of the people with autism are nonverbal. They make noises, they flap their hands, but they cannot verbally tell you what they want, what they need. We have Dr. Killinger here who has created a slideshow that's really going to help equip these officers with the knowledge that can potentially prevent some of these accidents from happening. So here we go. The first and foremost is the stimming. Often they'll do some kind of hand flapping motion. Um, sometimes they'll have a toy or a string and they'll flick it. Or they'll put their hands over their ears, tap things. Um, tap their body. Often they will not look you in the eye and that is a huge anxiety response for kids with autism. When you're talking with someone who has autism you want to be very direct. If you say sit, they're probably going to sit right in front of you. So you want to say sit in the chair. If a person is unresponsive to questioning, appears confused, try and open it into question. We often teach the kids these rote phrases. Your name is Dr. Hillinger. You're here with mom, dad, school. Don't expect or force eye contact or other appropriate body language. A lot of times they'll look at the ground, look at the sky. You guys play a huge role in their lives. So we really rely on you guys. And we'd just like to thank you for everything that you guys do, serving and making our communities a better place.